Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Ellie if you're new here. I am currently pregnant with baby number two and we are finally out of the first trimester. I say finally because it was a roller coaster. <laughs> But at the same time, I cannot believe that I am already in my second trimester. Like time is flying so fast. So welcome to my first trimester recap video. I did put a poll on my Instagram asking if you guys wanted to be a part of this video and ask any questions about the first trimester and you guys did. So I will definitely be including them. A lot of them, I feel like I'm going to be answering them already. So right before I answer, I I will put your question and then we'll answer them as we go uh, but yeah let's get started I hope this is not too long of a video but there was just so much that happened the first three months so I'm gonna get started with a question when you found out you were having a second baby were you scared or nervous um, Honestly, you guys saw my reaction whenever I found out I was pregnant. I did record it. I will put it up here. At the moment, I was so excited. I love being a mom. The fact that I was carrying a second child it was pure excitement right at the beginning of it. And then I do feel like I did go through a nervous stage because I guess once all the excitement started kind of sinking in, everything started becoming more real. I guess reality hit me and I was like, oh my goodness, we're having a second child. We weren't fully prepared for a second child. I know you're never really ready for anything like that, but there was just certain things that we wanted to kind of check off of our list before we had a second child. Like for example, we knew we needed a bigger vehicle. We knew we were gonna need insurance. Uh, we knew we were going to maybe even need a new house. Ideally, we would like for the kids to have their own room. So there was a couple of things that we wanted to get done first before we started planning our second baby. So yeah, that was our sweet surprise. <laughs> Another question, do you feel the same or different from your first pregnancy? I would say for the most part, it does feel different. Very common stuff like morning sickness, cravings, things like that. Those things didn't really happen to me <laughs> with Mateo. So yes, that definitely did happen to me this time around and I'm gonna go more in detail with them. So I wanted to start off with some of my weird symptoms that I got that I guess I wasn't really expecting or I haven't really heard of much with other pregnancies. But one of the things was that my body was itchy everywhere like in my arms my legs my hands my face like every part of my body just felt so itchy i feel like i might have been missing a vitamin or it could have just been obviously the hormone changes in my skin that was making me itchy i did suffer with dry skin as well so i guess that's kind of that kind of goes hand in hand with why I was so itchy all the time. I've never really heard of that happening to people. That definitely didn't happen to me the first time around. So I put that under my weird symptoms where my entire body was just itchy. I did experience vivid dreams again. This did happen the first time around, but I put it under weird symptoms because they were like very disturbing dreams. Last time they were a little bit more happy, they were very uplifting. <laughs> this time were very weird, nasty, creepy, vivid dreams. Another weird symptom that I got was I kept smelling nail polish remover everywhere. Like I would be doing random things, that smell kept coming back to me. I realized it was me whenever I would go outside of my house, or I would go to other people's houses or just outside in general and I could still smell it. That's whenever I'm like, oh, okay, it's nothing real it's just my hormones messing with me so i thought that was strange if you guys watched my pregnancy symptoms that i was getting before i took a pregnancy test that i would put up here as well um i did mention that my vision got blurry that actually came back throughout my first trimester it kind of just went back and forth where i would wake up with blurry vision and then it'll go away and then it'll come back and then it'll go away 
So yeah, that was pretty strange to me too. There was definitely something hormonal about the, my smelling scent because like I mentioned the nail polish remover and then I kept smelling like just musty stuff and I could not figure out where it was coming from. I thought it was my house that was dirty. I thought it was me that smelled weird. I thought it was my child. I kept taking showers. I kept giving him baths. I kept cleaning over and over and over because I wanted that smell to go away. But I felt a little uncomfortable being around people because I'm like, oh my gosh, I stink like I don't want them to smell me. I would ask Alex, do I smell bad? And he would always get really close to me. He would get really close to my hair and he'd be like, no, you don't. I'm in my second trimester and that kind of has not gone away. Everything stinks. <laughs> On a more positive note, food. Food tasted so much better. Better. I would eat like a common biscuit or just a cookie or something and everything tasted amazing. My taste buds were just shining and they were just giving me the best flavors. Somebody asked, what were your biggest cravings? My biggest cravings were spicy food. I wanted to experience being spiced up so badly. Like I wanted my cheeks to burn. I wanted to sweat while eating the spicy food. I don't know why. <laughs> but I would crave spicy food so much. It was probably not healthy. Mustard, which is weird because, not that I don't like mustard, but it's usually something I prefer not to have. Like if I'm ordering a sandwich or something, I usually ask, no mustard please. And mustard was one of the things that I wanted so badly. I just wanted mustard on everything. Mustard tasted great. <laughs> Something else that tasted amazing were tomatoes, which is actually something that happened to me with my first baby as well. They were just a hit. I would crave a lot of pizza because tomato sauce is on it. I could eat them like an apple. I loved, love, love, love tomatoes. Of course, all the sweets in the world, any anything with sugar in it was, was fine. I could probably even like grab a spoon of honey or sugar and just put it in my mouth and it would have been satisfying. And then um, my eating habits were just kind of extreme. I felt like I was eating every 10 minutes. I put no joke, I'm eating every 10 minutes. I put, I've ate so many mangoes today, bags of chips, gorditas. I had my three meals of the day and I'm already thinking of what I'm going to eat next. Somebody help me. <laughs> I want to stop eating because I just ate, but I'm so hungry. And if I don't eat, I feel like I get sick and nauseous. Yep, I definitely was an eater. I definitely gained a lot of weight, uh, especially on my face. Another question, did you have an extreme pregnancy moment like with food? You guys are very curious about food. Yes, I did, <laughs> actually. I was already gonna tell you guys about this. I had a crying food moment where it was one in the morning and I just suddenly got this burst of hunger but I wanted pizza, specifically. I wanted to eat, but I didn't want my husband to get up and get it for me, and I knew he wasn't gonna let me go, so it was like a frustrating feeling. I started crying. I've seen it in movies where people cry because they're hungry, and I'm just like, that's extreme, but now I get it. And I feel so silly saying it out loud because I'm like, I can't believe that happened to me, and I can't believe I let it overpower me. Question, what made you gag? And then another thing, did you get morning sickness? So yes, I did. I experienced morning sickness, something that I did not experience as much with my first pregnancy. People say morning sickness is not really just in the mornings, and that is very true. It's an all day sickness. I experienced it throughout the entire first trimester. So for three months, I was nauseous. There was just certain foods I could not have. So the first question is what made you gag? Watching cooking shows <laughs> made me gag. I had to unfollow anything related to cooking, even baby food. I follow a lot of pages with like baby food ideas and I couldn't even watch the baby food. That was sad. Something else that made me gag, I promise I'm not making this up. But the one thing that made me gag, even by just thinking about it, were salads and cucumbers. <sighs> 
I couldn't even look at an avocado because it was green. One time Alex and I were driving and we were talking about all the weird symptoms that I had been feeling and making fun of some of my symptoms like the fact that salads made me sick. Salad when it came out of my mouth it made my mouth kind of water because I instantly got nauseous and I even told Alex I'm like I am so sorry but I think you're gonna have to pull over I'm about to throw up right now <laughs> I rolled the window down and I just kind of let the wind hit my face it did calm down like I can't even say the word salad if you're wondering if I threw up yes I did so I'm very thankful for Alex that he was very patient and he took the role of going grocery shopping cooking for the family and all of that for couple months he was our chef he made sure we were fed because i was over here not even wanting to get close to my oven or to my stove because it would just make me gag i was also extremely tired all the time i know that's really common but it was very real i would lay down close my eyes and instantly fall asleep i was just so so tired all the time i also got a lot of acne in my face bloated and cramping kind of went through the whole first trimester people would tell me i am showing a lot faster this time around and i'm like is it that or is it just because i'm very bloated one of my friends went out of town and came back and she saw me and told me i look thinner <laughs> she's like how is it possible to look thinner while being pregnant and i was like i think i was just really bloated something else that i experienced was having to pee with urgency in the middle of the night I wake up around 2 in the morning, then I wake up around 5 in the morning again. It's usually around the same time that my body wakes me up with urgency to go to the bathroom. Something else is that I do pee on myself. I did tell my doctor, I think I pee on myself a lot. She's like, are you sure it's pee? And I'm like, I think it's pee. She's like, it's pretty clear. I'm like, yeah, it's clear. She's like, let me test you. And that kind of scared me a little bit because I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think this was something to be concerned about. I, like I was concerned, but I didn't think it was a bad thing. She tested the fluids that were coming out because she had recently seen somebody else that was only one month ahead of me with kind of the same issue. And it turned out that her, how do you say it? Yeah that the fluids were coming out and it was actually becoming dangerous for the baby but she called me later and she's like it's pee so just clean yourself wear a pad if you need to you're pregnant it's normal um i did experience a lot of anxiety i mentioned this a little bit in my other video i experienced a lot of like bad feelings like just had like really dark moments where they were obviously maybe not realistic i just had like a lot of anxiety i felt like something bad was gonna happen any moment any little thing like that like when the doctor was like let me test you this could actually be something bad i would just think i knew it i knew something bad was gonna happen but thankfully and we're obviously not done with this pregnancy yet so i pray every day that this baby is healthy that everything goes fine that um you know that we can work through anything that does come across our paths yeah it's a roller coaster it's a lot of excitement it's a lot of happiness but at the same time sometimes you can't help but to remember all the negative things as well but either way i'm very grateful to experience another pregnancy and i feel very blessed to be pregnant again last two things that i wrote down before my second trimester started i started actually getting full faster but I was also hungry faster as well. I couldn't really eat a lot at once. And then also, hmm, I am a hairy human again. This did happen to me with my first child. I became a very hairy human. I know now that it all goes away once you give birth. Uh, whenever I was postpartum and I already had my baby, all the extra hair just fell off. It's not a forever thing, so I'm not even worried about it anymore. I know it's not gonna be there forever and I can become normal again one day. <laughs> there was a couple more questions that I did not get to answer, so I did wanna include them here at the end. Uh, somebody asked, does Mateo understand you're pregnant? Um, I feel like he doesn't. Definitely tried to kind of tell him like there's a baby in my belly. My mom even got him like a tiny little doll introducing him to what a baby looks like. Um, 
telling him there's a baby inside of mom, things like that. And I don't think he really gets it. I even ask him, where's the baby? And I'll point at my belly and I'll make him touch my belly and he'll point at himself. Like, like this part of my body must be called baby. Yeah, I don't think he understands there's an actual human inside of me. He will forever just remember having a buddy all his life. <laughs> this is an interesting one. Do you love your husband more or less? <laughs> I think I know what they mean with this question. <laughs> Definitely, like whenever I first got pregnant uh, with our first baby, I saw my husband so different. Like I love you so much more because we share this together now. My bond with him really did get stronger. He meant so much more to me, but I did not want him near me. <laughs> with this baby, however, I was not really affected. I'm very glad that we can still share our intimate bonds as well. What do you think you're having? So I actually do know the gender right now, but from the very beginning, just because it was different, I was experiencing morning sickness, I was experiencing more cravings. I immediately kind of thought, I think I'm having a little girl. I know every pregnancy is different, but I don't know, I just had this feeling I was having a little girl. My gender reveal video is up already, so you guys probably already know. But yes, I am having a baby girl and I am very excited and we're very grateful. I know a lot of these symptoms might sound like I'm complaining because some of them are not very fun. Even whenever I would be over the toilet throwing up, I felt very grateful that I was feeling that and that I had a little life inside of me and I didn't wish it away. Even if I have to go through this for the rest of my pregnancy, I'm willing to do it for this baby. Okay, why am I getting emotional? Emotional, I am very, very emotional and Alex makes fun of me for it. I cry in the most random moments for the most random things and I can't even be mad at him for laughing because I just wanna laugh at myself too because I can't believe I'm crying for that tiny little thing. How long is this video going to be? I don't know, hopefully it's not crazy long, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and just kind of hearing what I went through the first three months. Whenever I'm done with my second trimester, I will make sure to keep you guys posted of how I feel, if things are the same, things are different. Um, thank you guys for following along. Feel free to watch more of the videos. If you are new here, welcome. Subscribe to the family. Like this video if you guys like watching stuff like this. I'm really looking forward to sharing more of my pregnancy journey. I treat this journey like if it was going to be my last. So I'm really Really trying to soak in all the moments and not wanting to wish any of it away I hope I get to document a lot of it and share it of course with you all and have something to look back at whenever I'm older this baby's older it's all about all the sweet memories I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you all in my next video bye